Right, hello guys. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you the trimmings, um, um, parts that are scissored um, on a setter. I always like to start at the back end. Now, Mia's been hand stripped, um, both sides has been bathed and dried in the um, kind of a show range shampoo I use, uh, which is MD10 um, Silky Smooth shampoo and conditioner and now we're ready to do the trimmings um, so I always start at the back end we're going to uh, trim his tail I'm using uh, just a nice uh, comb and I'm using Kamisori uh, Komori Pro, Pro 7.5 inch from Canada they do ship worldwide uh, really nice uh, thinner nice a good size blade and uh, here we go. So to take the tail, um, we don't want hair overhanging the tip. So we've got about an inch to take off. Now to trim the tail, um, we want to hang it nice and loose, straight down. Put your thumb at the end of the tip of the tail and we cut level with the table. You see, there's his hair hanging low, and I'm gonna take off level with, um, let's see if we can come a bit closer. Here we go. So there's his tip of the tail, so we've got about that much to take off, but we want the hair, and we're gonna level, cut level with the table. Um, with the thinners, this is why a longer blade is good for that, stay neo. The reason we've done that, and then when we bring it up, you will get that nice V shape. Now I'm going to trim some of his length as well, because the longer, if you were to hold the tail correctly for the show ring, which would be level with his top line, um, then the longest part down here, this sort of V shape we've got, should be the same length as the bottom of his full chest. So we should have a nice line um, if we go from his tail and that should follow his uh, underside. Uh, but we need to trim off here because he doesn't have enough length here between his legs, which is where it should be the longest. And we need to tip these. Um, so we're gonna take some off. Um, Hold your front leg hair out of the place. Have a look where your longest part is. And we want to angle it upwards slightly. Um, I've been, he had a major haircut about eight, nine months ago. And um, since then the hair's just been left to grow. He never had it scissored or trimmed. And now we need to sort out the ends. Wait, Leo. Let's see if we can come a bit here so you can see better what we're doing. So we tuck the hair away. Yes, the longest part here behind his front leg should be at the same level as his tail. We do one side and then the other side. I'm literally tipping his hair. Depends how much I take. Depends really on the hair that we've got, and we're coming upwards a bit, not in a straight line. Um, And then uh, we sort of tie it in with the thigh. I might have to come back a bit. Sorry, guys, you're on a bit of an angle. I'm just going to see if I can move this table. Here we go, stay near. Good boy. Right. And then we trim his trouser leg. I'll do it this way. Stay. No, 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 no. Uh, by putting his leg in the correct position, hot on a 90 degree angle. Also by trimming hair and getting rid of the ugly ends, 
and anything that's too much see-through you will get a maybe you're taking a big length off but you are uh, making the hair look thicker by not having that much daylight out through the feathers so it will always look better than this shine trimming and we're coming slightly up obviously he's missing some hair there so stay and forget the inside off his leg here we go stay new stay and then we can come up a bit and that should be tied in there with this but he hasn't got a lot of hair there but we'll still tip it a bit because that's only good for the hair and that's looking a lot better now we can take off a little bit of here and have all that side off his leg um, one important thing this little patch here between the pad and this stopper pad don't scissor that short it used to be a thing um, in England for the in the old times old school grooming because Gordon's never had this amount of feathers so they used to clear that but now we've got more hair there and we don't cut that because otherwise people end up with having a they do this they 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 cut that hair off like so and then leave the rest hanging and it just means you can't tie it in with the feet. So don't cut anything. Don't sh cut this bit short because this is tied into the leg and the foot. So come on. It should be standing nicely on tippy toes. And for the time being, his feet are not true. So I'm just going to clear the hair off the ground. Stay. How high up and what angle you decide to do really depends how thick the hair is on the front leg, whether they've grown a full, full length, he's still a little bit catching up because even that was cut short a few months ago. And then we check from the inside. bring the angle a bit higher up. other foot up. Um, not quite because the lighting isn't great. We'll just take a bit more off here. There we go. Now I'll quickly show you to do his hock. Um, he's got very fine hair on his hock now um, and it's quite long now. So what we'll do, he's got this much, but it's very fine. It doesn't, 
it just flops. There's really not a lot there. So to take off the length would be hard. Uh, so what I'd do is hold his leg level like that, comb everything to one side um, to take off the length. And we'll place the scissor level with his hot bone, but not too close. Don't cut it. The closer to the bone you cut it, the shorter it will be. But this can give you level length hot hair, and then we can just trim it. You want to cut now, we're coming to the other side. Stay, Neo. Stay. Uh, get your pants out of the way. Stay. Stay. And then we just level it off like that, next to the nice and level. Again, a longer, thinner is better than doing it with the short ones. Now we put his leg down, and now we can just play around with what we've got. We haven't trimmed his feet yet. So I'll just clear at the bottom there a little bit, which I will do more when I do his feet. And then stay. And then we can just go all the way around, see what sticks out and trim that. Stay. Really don't want to leave it, the hair on the floor, or touching the floor down at the bottom because it will just make their hocks look bigger. Longer hock, sorry. And we don't want that, so we nicely clear it off on a... He's quite fine boned, so he's got a fair amount still left there, as you can see. Um, right, and now we can... Tr now, since I've done his full chest, we know where we are. I can take a bit of length off his tail. And we can just continue this, what we created, this nice line. And then we just turn in a bit and take length off a bit. He doesn't need this much because he doesn't have the front. Let's have a look what we've got. And there should be about there where his front is. So there we are. Now we just do his front a bit. Need a turn. Turn around. Good boy. Right, here we do this front. Now, from the side, we are going to trim a little bit angle here. Head should be nice and up. Stay. His neck is not done yet, but we can trim stay level feet ideally good boy and then we can just come on an angle and trim the ends stay again quite quite an angle stay Again, but trimming this, you will take some of the length, but you will give them a thicker full chest. And you get a nice full chest in, and then both sides.
and then you can just check from the front that he's got it all level. Stay. Neo. No, he's only birds. Come on. Stop, 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 stop. He's looking out the window. Stay. Near stay. Stay. Neo. And there we go, and we got a nice full chest cutting as well. And from the front, um, not sure by the light how much you can see, not the great light. Right, now I'll show you how to tidy up this front, uh, but his neck is not clipped. Yes, sit, sit. He decided to watch the birds out in the garden. So maybe we just need to, because he just threw like, What are you watching? There's nothing there. Something took his interest, there we go. Right, so that's there, the, the front trim. And now we just need to tidy this up. And there we go. Now we want to create um, eye clip, down clip their necks right at the breastbone or just above the breastbone because that's far too low. Um, unless you have a really short neck um, but usually I'll go sort of in the middle somewhere in between the bottom of the tan mark on the throat and the breastbone top of the breastbone so we'll clip from somewhere in the middle and I want to leave all that hair um, hanging from the neck you can't go too high because it will look silly uh, but you can add a bit by leaving the hair a little bit higher than the breastbone it can fill in your front um, and also make a little bit more normal looking neck um, and then uh, we want to right in the middle of his uh, would be the highest point of hair and then we will come in an upside down V down towards uh, there uh, would you call it front of the elbow um, uh, area so we want to create a little V like that and then there's his rest of it which is a V that way um, so we need to clear on the angle the hair there that we need to scissor it we stripped some but it's better to scissor some um, and we can come we can scissor a little bit in here you lift up his hair the hair will pop up that we here on the throat um, and I'm coming towards the middle you could see what angle I'm creating this angle and then I'll create that angle um, and that way we'll have um, his front scissored in and then anything about this line you stop looking out that window? Up to the clip line, which I haven't got yet on the neck because we've not done that yet. And same on the other side. So all of this, sorry guys, all of that that sits there, up here, this area, we'll, we'll scissor that off. 
Um, so I've got scissor this way. Neil, will you stop here? No, sit. And then uh, we create from the point of shoulder up on that angle. Right. And this one is a bit awkward. Stay. Stay. This is around the point of shoulder what we can't strip too much because he will have a bold patch. the camera to show you. Gosh, yeah. Need no tea. Right. Let's have a look. Take a detailed picture once I've clipped his neck, then you'll see. you can see in this light guys up you're getting there and he's got his full chest there but we need to clip his neck and finish everything off right so we've done the hock i've showed you the basic trimming guys and we just do the same on the other side so thanks for watching